seeing around the world, not just here in this part of Queensland, is that we've got this really long, slow process of land degradation. There's been lots and lots of erosion. People don't really realise how much soil has been moved off from these areas. When we look at survey results from like the early 1900s and then where they've been resurveyed like 100 years later, across Australia we're seeing something like 50 centimetres to a metre of topsoil, which a lot of people find hard to believe. It's happened so gradually. It's been such a slow change. People think it's natural when it's actually not. So it's, it's a really big change in mindset to go, well, what we're looking at is this is not how it used to be. The original ground cover here was mostly non-grasses and because they were so palatable to livestock and because grazing was unmanaged, animals were able to roam over large areas and selectively taking out what's green, which happens to be the herbs, the forbs, the, the non-grassy things. So over time, we have totally, totally changed the nature of this landscape and totally changed the soil number one through soil loss and number two through you need green things to build soil. So what we've been talking about in the workshops is the difference between when it's green it's photosynthesizing which means it's capturing light energy turning it to biochemical energy and it's channeling that energy down into the soil to feed all of the life in the soil. So the soil needs to be living in order for the microbes in the soil to produce the glues and gums that sticks all particles together and stop them from eroding. Green is the only thing that can build soil. So now we have to go, okay, let's look at the processes for soil building and what are those key processes, like the really, really fundamental things that build soil, which unfortunately are things we can't see. We can see this bit, we can see the green leaves. Um, this, the brown, is great for protecting the soil from, you know, raindrop impact and that, but brown grasses are not going to build soil. That's what these days are really about. Well, number one, digging up plants, looking at the roots, seeing are there exudates coming out of the roots that are going to feed soil microbes that are going to build soil. What we're trying to do is increase the amount of photosynthesis over the year because it's photosynthesis that's going to drive the soil building. And photosynthesis is also going to drive farm production. So it's going to be great for animal production and for profitability and all of those things. And animal health because, I mean, green has always got more vitamins, minerals, trace elements, you know, everything for livestock. So green is good for, for farmers, green is good for soil, green is good for landscape function. And we have to figure out how to, really it just comes down to how to manage the animals to get more green. The landholders are the only people that can regenerate, restore the Australian landscape. And that it's the landholders that are coming up with really innovative ways of doing that, trying different things and see what happens when I manage stock this way and then talking to each other. The social things are the really, really important things. It's like in any kind of change, whether it's for human health or animal health or the health of the soil, the landscape function, it always comes back to the social things as to, okay, someone's got some great ideas here, but how do we get those ideas out? So, you know, landholders driving change is a way of connecting farmers and NQ dry tropics like, like an overarching kind of an organisational framework to, to facilitate that, to enable that to happen. But it is the landholders that will come up with, with the ideas and we really need to support them. And I, I guess I see my role in this as being somebody that does have some scientific, I mean I do have a PhD in soil biochemistry and I do understand a little bit about what happens about exudates around plant roots and how microbes use those to build soil. To be able to put that into a language that without trying to confuse people with the science but you know to say well this is how it happens and then we have to figure out you know how to find creative ways management wise of, of actually getting um, you know less of this and more more of this because <laughs> surprisingly as simple as it seems this is what is going to change the whole landscape.